Today we will continue where we left off last time. We will show some more Sun Sun sequences. Last week we showed variations starting with this black honey. Black also has other options. When black wants to end up with sente, he can try this schema. White has two ways of replying. Either you bastard. He can also respond with A or B. A is the most common. Let's have a look. At this point you can play Tanuki. If black plays somewhere else, the following exchange can be expected on the right side. White makes a very solid shape and takes territory on the right side. However, black gets the chance to play Tanuki once again. Another sente variation for black is to extend. If black already has a stone at the marked star point, this extension is a good option. White has two responses, A or B. Both leave black with sente. Playing this honey feels natural. White gets a big corner. In exchange for a big white corner, black can play Tanuki. If white plays this vulgar bump move, after all, he bumps his head into a wall, he settles the position quickly. White plays here in most cases, but black can Tanuki. Instead of playing somewhere else, black can also block if the right side is important. The following variation is a Joseki. Black seals off both sides, but ends with Gote. This position is very similar to the most basic San San variation that we showed last week. To compare, let me show you that position again. Remember this? The marked stones are the only differences between the two positions. On the left, the marked stone is used for strength and influence. On the right side, the same stone is used to seal off the right side. This is better for territory, but weaker towards the center. There is still a weakness at A. Instead of the black keima, which intended to gain sente, black can also choose to play this hane on the bottom. Usually, black plays this way when he already has stones around the A area. So far we showed what can happen when black has a Hoshi stone in combination with a high stone at A. But what if black has a low stone at B instead? Things can get very tricky. Now if white invades in the corner, black can play very severely. You probably recognize this double Hane from the previous episode. Do you remember this counterattack for White? White aims at making a group at the top. However, when the stone at A is low instead of high, this White cut does not work. This is a strong move. When White connects, Black also connects. All Black stones are connected now. If white tries to run with his A stone and create Aji, black B is perfectly positioned. White keeps trying to separate black, but creates a very heavy group for himself instead. On top of that, white still is not alive in the corner. He needs to come back to live. A fantastic result for black. White cannot extend immediately. His position falls apart. Of course this result is superb for black. Because of the low stone of black at the top, white cannot get a group at the top side. However, 
He can choose to make a small group in the corner, or he can go for the right side. I will show both options briefly. White lives and takes the corner, but this is a bit painful. Black has Sente and completely surrounded White. His outside is more interesting than White's small territory. Like this, we return to a sacrificing strategy. White sacrificed the corner, but gets a group on the right side in Sente. What about the Sun Sun invasion when there are other stones even closer by? This invasion is possible, but it is only good when white has no other options. This leads to a co. A classical example of co. If the upper side is still open, like here, this is superior to invading on Sun Sun. There are other possibilities too, like this submarine, or this similar approach. We we'll leave it to you to explore these yourself. Instead of this Gema corner enclosure, the O Gema is also often played. The O Gema leaves a bigger corner space to invade. Here an invasion on Sun Sun will succeed unconditionally. Black has a couple of options again. This Hane from the bottom is powerful. In this situation it is crucial to jump first and leave the Hane at A for later. The following pattern is Joseki. White makes a living group inside Black's territory, but Black gains strength on the outside. Note that Black still has weaknesses at A to C. If you play the Hane first, you get in trouble very fast. Instead of connecting solidly as A, like in the previous sequence, Black can now descend because he is strong around B. To conclude this episode, Black can also Hane from the other side. Next episode, we will explore the white position in the corner. It is called the L plus 2 group. Thanks for watching and see you next time.